Good evening. People in downtown Albuquerque are tired of crime, and now even an old institution is trying a new way to keep the trouble out. News 13's Annalisa Pardo is live in front of the Immaculate Conception Church at 6th and Copper with what the church is doing and what neighbors are saying about it. Annalisa. Jessica, pretty soon you could see a big fence right here along this side of the church on Copper Avenue. It's the church's way of taking security into its own hands. The church says it's had ongoing security issues, including the tagging of this sculpture. And now it's saying enough. It made these requests to the city's planning and zoning department that would let them build a fence along these sides of the church for safety concerns. Tom Dougherty is the owner of Cafe Lush, which sits just behind the church. It doesn't surprise me. You know, it's a shame, but that's what uh, today society has unfortunately brought us. It's a problem he understands. But we've also had him break into our bathrooms. Um, I've had to put a security door on one of our bathrooms. I've had to replace the other bathroom door. The area's neighborhood association says it's seen six requests from area building owners to put up a fence in the last four months. And if it's not a wall, it's a, a gate that they want to put up. They just want people to stop breaking into their buildings. Neighborhood Association President Ron R.C. Casilla says more police downtown would change that. APD does have 10 officers and two sergeants dedicated to patrolling the area as part of its downtown public safety district, created in 2018 to help reduce crime. I see the bikes around. They're here. Their presence is known. And uh, <clears throat> it's been slowly improving. I mean, we still see it. And if crime rates go down, neighbors hope fences will too. We're not about building walls. We want people to come out here and experience a beautiful downtown Albuquerque. Neighbors here tell me that they are hopeful that more develop in the development rather in the area will help take away some empty lots and then hopefully crime as well. Jessica. All right. Thank you, Annalisa. As for the fencing at the church, they shared their request at a public hearing last week. On March 4th, the city will tell them whether they can move forward with the fencing plan.